Okay, welcome to another beginning beginner GIMP tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an effect that will give your image a dreamlike quality. And it's a dreamlike effect. It's really, really cool. And um, I've used this. I have used this in um, images in the past with people, with places, you know, landscapes and people. And um, it gives the object or the person kind of an inner glow and it softens the edges quite a bit. So it's really cool. After I had used this effect in the past, I'd come across a movie. And maybe you guys have heard of it. It's called Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. It's a pretty cool movie. And what really struck me when I first watched it was they, they either used this precise effect or one that was very similar to it for the entire movie. So the entire movie has this kind of dreamlike quality to it. So I've got a link to it in the show notes. So if you guys want to check that out, it'll take you to a website that has the, the movie information. There's also a trailer there that you can watch so that you can see what this effect looks like in a movie. All right, so I've got GIMP open. I have a, I have a copy, two copies of each image loaded so that we can see what it looks like before and after the effect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna go into um, colors, I'm gonna go into levels, and I'm just gonna let, since this is a well-lit image here in direct sunlight, I'm just gonna let GIMP do the auto input levels adjustment on it. It's very subtle, but, um, but it does improve the lighting in the image. All right, so now we're going to go to FX Foundry, and we're going to go into Layer Effects, and we're going to select down here toward the bottom where it says Orton Effect. Okay, we're going to apply the Orton Effect right now. Okay, now, did you, did you see how that, it kind of darkened the image, and then it gives it a type of an inner glow and then it softens all of the edges. So uh, let's look at the before image before we applied it. There's the before image. And here's the image that we applied it to. Is, you see the difference between those two, how dramatic that is? And um, so you guys should try this effect on different images that you have. To see what kind of quality it gives you but that's actually uh, that's that's pretty good and and take a look at that trailer of that movie and you'll see what I you see what I'm talking about all right so this is a person that we just did this to so now I also have a landscape and let me see okay I don't have those two layers merged this is one that we used I think in the previous tutorial on how to Im improve the contrast and the color of an image. So I've got the layers merged here because uh, this is this effect is for a single layer on the image. So if you have a bunch of different uh, layers in your image, if you just merge those, those layers down into a single layer and then apply the image, that'll work much, much better. And um, let's see here. Okay, so let's uh, let's apply it to this one. So we're going to go into FX Foundry again. We're going to go into Layer Effects. Let me bring it over here so I'm not blocking it. Um, FX Foundry, Layer Effects, Orton Effect. Okay, so now do you see the difference? Uh, let's look at the before. And then look at the after and look how it softens everything. That is just an absolutely cool effect to use. And it's called the Orton effect. All right. In the show notes, I also have a link to the playlist for all of the GIMP tutorials that I have published so far. So if you guys want to take a look at those. And in the, the last tutorial on how to increase the color and the contrast of an image. 
um, take a look at that one too. You'll want to, if you have an image, you'll want to do that before you apply the Orton effect. And if you have an image that's kind of washed out, you know, where it doesn't have a, it looks like the color's faded and, and maybe there's not a lot of contrast to it. If you take a look at that tutorial first and perform that process on your image before you use the Orton effect, um, it, it'll be much better. It, you'll have a much, much better result. If you do that first, if it's an outdoor image like this one where you have really good lighting, just, you know, just go into the colors, go into the levels and select the auto input levels for all channels here. Let me bring this over here so I'm not blocking it. Select the all input levels. Just click that button and and GIMP will will correct the lighting for you and then just select OK because GIMP does a fantastic job of correcting the lighting in an image that is well lit, you know, primarily outdoors in uh, direct or indirect sunlight. It does a fantastic job with just about every outdoor image I've, I've used that with. It actually comes out just as well as, as adjusting the, the mid-tones, the darks, and the light colors in the image yourself. And it saves a lot of time just pressing that button. Okay, so that is a beginning tutorial on how to give your image that dreamlike quality, that dreamlike effect. And once again, it's called the Orton effect. So use it with several of your images and see what you think of it. All right, so remember, you can create freely. And I will see you in the next episode.